Yo, what it do? It's your boy Buck Breeze, Mr. No Slacking himself. No slacking involved, it's bad for your health. Yeah, I'm a shake born shake time. No, it's some else I can't get out of this real quick. I'm gonna get a body and so my shakers, man, check in. Everything's shaking, check in. No, it's some else tap in with your boy. Yo, today, check it out. We in the note where, gotta get y'all right, man. Know what I mean? They hit me up, tell me to get them right. They want me to go on to the next level. We on to the next level now. So today, we talking about how to get y'all, get y'all real right. And get you up in that Navy Federal. You know what I'm saying? We're going to we'll show you how to either get this big boy or you get this bad boy. You know what I mean? You got to get the more rewards or you get the flagship, baby. Either one, trust me, you need these in your life. Yo, we're going to talk now on how to get that, all right? This is what you're going to do. Now, the first step, hope I don't really got to go over this again. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, you know, we done talked about this a couple times, y'all. All right? So listen. But I, I'm gonna start from the beginning real quick. I, you know, it's, it's I'm gonna do this. For, I'm gonna do this for the slow ones, for the ones down capture and grab this so fast. All right. First thing is, you know what I mean, to get get yourself into Navy Federal, and to get into Navy Federal, you have to have you know you can't have fucked over banks and all of that. You know what I mean? You, you want to either have a family member or somebody that's in the Navy. You know what I mean? If not, you, it's other ways to get around that. You know what I mean? But this video isn't for that. We are not talking about how you gonna get in Navy Federal. All right. So, that's what we're going to do. This to play, y'all. You ready? Get your pad down, man. That's what we're going to do. So, check it out. This step here is after the last step. If you watched my last video, you know what I'm saying? It's down in the comments. The link is down in the comments. Go watch the last video and go watch one before that so you get caught up. It's step one, two, and three. This is the third step now. All right? This is the step. How you going to get that credit card? How you going to get that big boy? You know what I'm saying? A lot of, this, a lot of people want the big boy. You want the big boy? You know what I mean? Or you want the you want the little baby? You get the little baby. You know what I mean? But check it out. You're gonna need one of them. Alright? So, first step, yo. First step. I'm assuming that you'd already filed other steps from the first video and the second video. You know what I'm saying? I'm assuming you did all that. So now you're here. This, this is where you at now. Now you in the spot where you are ready to open up your flagship checking account. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna go there. You gonna call them? I mean, you can go there if you want, but you know, I did I did my stuff through the phone. I say do it through the phone. Ain't nothing wrong with that. First thing you are gonna do is you are gonna call them up. You are gonna say, yo, I need to open me a flagship checking account. You know what I'm saying? Along with a sheer savings account. I mean, and on top of that, I want you to open me up a money market account too. You know what I mean? You are gonna do that, and then you are gonna open them three accounts. Right now, look, that's three products right there. You start, you stepping in the game with three products, right? And then you, once you add on that direct deposit to that flagship checking account, that's four products you got now, right? So now you got the four products. Now this is where you should be at. And you, you should be here, follow me mentally, okay? You should be done calling them, say, yo, I need that flagship checking account along with that sheer savings account, and I need a money market account along with that, right? You're going to tell me that's what I need. I need them three things, you know what I'm saying? Now, you're going to set that up. After you set that up, then you're going to handle your direct deposit. You're going to do your direct deposit. Put that in there. That's going to take you a couple of weeks to get to get that going. So, you know, in the meantime, while your direct deposit is getting going, you're waiting for that thing to switch over, you're going to say, yo, I want to do a pledge loan, right? Listen, I get it. Everybody might not have the 1000 or the 2000 or 3000 to do it. It's okay. You can start this pledge loan with just $500. You know what I mean? Now, before you start saying, oh, what's I'm talking about? Pledge loan, Buck Breeze, like... Listen, the, ple the way the pledge loan is going to work is you're going to give them the money. You're going to put it in your account. That's what I mean by give them the money. You're going to put it in your account. And you're going to call them up and say, hey, I got 500 in my flagship checking account. You know what I mean? I want to do a pledge loan with that. They're going to say, okay. Now, please allow yourself two to three days for this whole process to go through. So do make sure you do this with some money that you can actually see. Because that's what I'm saying. Like, I would say... You know, jump out the gate, go in the game with the thousand dollar or the twenty five hundred dollar pledge loan. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. If you got rent that costs two thousand or fifteen hundred, do it with your rent money. But do it a week before your rent is due. You know what I'm saying? Play with some money that you can play with if you have to. It's gonna help you out in the long run. Let's just say you take fifteen hundred, 
right? You're going to take the 1500 call them up, boom. I want to do the pledge loan, da, da, da. They're going to say, okay. They're going to take that money from your account, and they're going to hold it. The next day, maybe that day, they're going to release the funds right back to you. When they release them funds back to you, you're going to look at that money in your account. You're going to say, oh, cool. I got it. But it's my money. Yeah, cool. It's your money. So what you're going to do with that, your money is, you're going to take 90% of that, and you're going to pay it right back. Let's just say you did the 1500 right? You, If I was you, I'd take 1300 and pay it right back. Boom. That 1300 going to hit your account right back. In two to two days, it's going to hit it. Not even three days. It's going to be like two days. That money, I said a day and a half. That shit hit fast. You know what I'm talking about? That money going to hit your account right back. When that money hits your account right back, then you go do what you got to do with it. You know what I'm saying? That's the money you just paid. You just paid yourself off. Now, I mean, that's all the loan is. That type of loan, that pledge loan is you paying yourself. It's basically they're just setting it up for you and you're paying yourself. So that's where the extra fees come in at. But it's well worth it because first off, this is going to build your internal score with them. You know what I'm saying? So let's take it back. Make sure we're on the same page, okay? You're going to open up that flagship checking account, right? You're going to set up that direct deposit on that. You're going to have that share saving account, that money market account, right? And you're going to do the pledge loan. Right, as you're waiting for this direct deposit to kick in, you're gonna do this pledge loan with them. All right, now after this is this is the main key right here though. After you pay off that ninety percent of the pledge loan, right, your thing gonna change on how much you gotta pay. Make sure that you're paying them payments monthly. It might tell you, oh, now let's just say if it's fifteen hundred and you paid off fourteen hundred of it, it's gonna say. You know what I mean? Now, you're only going to do the pledge loan for six months. You know what I mean? Because, listen, we try to get the big bag real fast. We ain't trying to play around with it. We ain't going to do it for 12 months and all that. We got to No, no, no. We're going to do this fast. Because why? We trying to get that big boy card quick. You know what I'm talking about? So, listen. You're going to do the pledge loan for six months. You're going to pay off that 90%. Now, after you pay that 90% off, you're going to set up the payment so that, let's see. It's on your $100 left. You got six months to pay $100. You dig? What's that? Fifteen dollars a month or something like that? Set it up. Seventeen dollars a month. Set it up so you're paying that fifteen or seventeen dollars a month in your app. You're gonna do all this through your app. Set it up so you're paying this off monthly. Now, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have them on-time payments hitting, which is only fifteen to seventeen dollars. That that you gotta pay off a hundred dollars out of the fifteen hundred dollar loan that you done got. You know what I mean? And your credit done shot up now because now it's showing on your report that you got a loan and you paid off 90% of that loan ASAP. You see what I'm saying? This is what you want. You, you want that to show. Now, this is not, you know, we're not doing this to look good for the other banks. You know what I mean? Even though it is going to look good for them too, but it's going to look great for Navy Federal. That's who you want it to look good for. That's who you're trying to please here. You dig what I'm saying? Everybody else you ain't really even worried about. All right? So, boom, I'm just trying to get y'all to play. You know what I mean? That's it, man. It's the play. You know what I mean? So, boom. All right, so, now listen. Let's just quick recap. For the slow people, we got to make sure we all hit together. All right? First thing you're going to do is, you're going to call them up. You're going to open up that flagship checking account, along with the share savings account and the money market account, right? Okay. After you do all that, what we going to do next, y'all? We're going to do the pledge loan while we're waiting for that direct deposit to click in, right? Okay. So, we're going to do the six-month pledge loan, waiting for that direct deposit to kick in. Now, the big play, like I try to tell you. So, soon as, like, four months is up, by the time four months up, that means you're going to be almost fully, play, fully paid for your pledge loan, right? You're going to have direct deposit that's been hitting in your joint for over 90 days already, right? So your account is okay, right? You making sure that your account has not have no negative balances and none of that, right? That's that's what you was doing. Okay. So now when you do that, and that four months go by, now you're ready to hit them in the head. Now you're ready to give them a holler. Okay? This is what we're going to do next now. All right? So, four months down the line. All right? After we done had using these five different things from them, the flagship checking account with the direct deposit, the share savings, the money market, money market account, and we got the pledge loan going. So we got five things going, right? After we get them five things going, now we're going to come here. You see this? Pre-qualify me. That's what you're going to do. 
You going to come here. All right? You ain't going to just go and just go fill out a credit card application. Oh, I want to get a credit card. Nah, you ain't going to do that. You're going to come. You're going to come to pre-qualify, right? You're going to click that. You're going to put in your info. It's going to let you know. You know what I'm saying? What you pre-qualify for, right? So what's going to happen is they're going to end up most, you're most likely now, if you did what I told you to do, your first card you're going to pre-qualify for should not be this card, okay? If they hit you with the secured card that you qualified for, you did something wrong. You didn't listen. I mean, you didn't follow the first step and go all the way up. I mean, you didn't start from the self-payment like I told you to. See? Now, if you do it correctly, your first card they're going to hit you with should be this baby right here. Okay? You should be hit with this more rewards card. Why? Because you're in it for the more rewards. And they're going to notice that the things that you spend money on in your life is regular life things, right? Which would be what? Supermarkets, gas, transit, restaurants. Isn't that the normal things you spend money on? So if you have been having this direct deposit going into your account, right? And obviously you got to spend some money, right? You're not like you're not spending none of your money, right? So you're spending your money out your account. You're swiping your card on what? For your gas, for your out to eat food, for whatever this stuff is, right? Out your account. This is coming out your account, right? So they're going to notice this is what you spend the monies on. They're going to give you this card. They're going to get this card. The first try. As long as you did the steps, how I told you to do the steps, you would get this card on the first try. Now, if your credit happens to be not as bad, oh, then your first try, they're going to push you probably to the platinum. You know what I'm saying? You heard me? But they're going to give you this card on your first try. And what's great about this card? This card is actually beautiful. This is a great card to have. Why is it a great card to have? As you can see, when you first get the card, you can earn 20K bonus points just for spending 1.5K. So as soon as you spend 1.5K on this card, you earn the 20 bonus points, which is worth $200. So they're giving you $200 for spending $1,500. Now, how, well, how are we going to spend $1,500, Buck Breeze? Easy. You know how easy it is to spend that fifteen hundred. Man, you can spend. Man, we can listen, man. That's another video. We're gonna get into that. Now, I mean, how you gonna work these credit cards? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get back to this. So, like I said, it's gonna be your first joint. Now, take the first joint. When you pre-qualify, you're most likely gonna pre-qualify for that. You might you're gonna probably pre-qualify for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand. Who knows? Maybe a little more. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you if you want to go ahead and you know jump to the big boy like we was talking about, you you could get here. It's nothing to get here, baby. It's nothing. All right? It's nothing to get here. All you gotta do to get here is you're gonna do the pledge loan amount for more. So remember how we said the 500 pledge loan amount compared to the 1500 pledge loan amount? Well, this is your differences right here. The 500 doing that 500 dollars pledge loan. That's where this is. That's where that's gonna get you. You are gonna get right here. You do that fifteen hundred dollar pledge loan, like I told you about, and it gets you here. You dig what I'm saying? You do the flagship checking account, direct deposit, share savings, money market pledge loan. Boom! You are gonna get here. Fifteen hundred. All right. Fifteen hundred dollar pledge loan. You're gonna get here. Five hundred dollar pledge loan. You're gonna get here. You play around. You could end up any one of these other places. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But where you really want to be, trust me, you want to be here or you want to be here. You know what I mean? If you were pro a person, now I'm going to tell you now, if you're somebody who got problem paying your bills on time and all that, then this is where you would want to be. You could take this one first. You know what I mean? Because this is the one with the with the minimized monthly payments. You know what I'm saying? So I say if you swipe that bad boy, you got say you got 15 racks on it and you swipe it, and you don't swipe it for eight, eight racks. Know what I mean, they're not gonna hit you in the head like that for paying that money back in the next in the next month. Now I mean, if you're in a situation to where you like to stretch it out a little bit and pay the rest later, you dig what I'm saying? So yo, that's what it is, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yo, follow the play. Let's get this money, man. I'm gonna tell you right now, man. Live your life through credit, man. Let your credit live through you. You know what I'm talking about? You gotta get the bag, man. We out for the big brand. That's all it is, man. Straight up. It's your boy Buck Breeze, Mister No Slacking himself. 
No slacking involved is bad for your health. Yeah, I'm a shake boy in shake time. So you know I'm up out of here. And I'm talking about I gotta slide, man. All my shakers check in, man. Tap in with your boy, man. Everything's shaking, tap in. It's your boy, man. No slacking involved. Let's go. This life that I've been living. I need the stripes. The stripes that I've been giving. Sucker, listen, pay attention. It's the things that I'm